Record filters are user-defined subsets of records, which are now available on spatial data plots. Serving a similar function to the old range functionality in XPAC 7, they allow users to create named filters for plot visibility or record selections. They are available on the Display ribbon tab, and also on the Home tab so they can be accessed by non-plot-based steps. These filters are created using a combination of record tree selection and an expression. Let's make a new filter here. We'll include these pushbacks and use the filter expression to exclude records based on grade. Any records for which the expression is false will be filtered out. We can see which records are excluded outright through record selection and which have been filtered by the expression. The record filters can be enabled on any plot using the drop down menu on the display ribbon tab. Users can quickly switch between them, and only one filter can be active at a time. On rule trees, record filters can be used to select which records are to be included in a rule. They can be accessed by right-clicking on the tree and clicking Select Records from Existing Filter. This opens the Apply Record Filter to Rule window. From here you can use a record filter to select records the rule will be applied to. The checkbox in the bottom right of the window controls how partially selected records are treated. Partially selected records are records which are not completely included in the record filter at the lowest selectable level for a rule. For example, the current rule we're looking at only goes down to the bench level. When the box is checked, Benches which have one or more blocks included in the record filter will be included in the rule. When the box is unchecked, only benches which have all blocks included in the filter will be included in the rule. When using record filters to select records to be included in rules, it's important to remember that this is a selection tool and not a direct link to the record filter. Changing the record filter will not update the records in the rule. This was an intentional choice to avoid breaking schedules with record filter or database changes.